Hello, writers, and welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. And today we got some more information regarding Midnight Suns, this time from Game Informer magazine. Now, this write-up that they did at Game Informer was very extensive. It was like 20 pages or so. There's a lot of screenshots, so I'll share some of those up on screen. And then I'll also show some footage from the newer trailers, and we'll talk more about combat and other things in other videos. But I'm going to have to break this down because there was so much stuff to digest and look through and plan out for these episodes. And in this one, I just want to focus on something very simple, but we'll take Take a few minutes to discuss which is kind of the backstory and the overall basic story of this video game so that's obviously what interests me the most of gameplay and all that stuff comes second to me but i really want to know what they're going to do with these characters and how they're going to bring them to life in this new version of the midnight suns so we're going to start with lilith the mother of demons and the main character that we can customize called the hunter which we can make a male or female i know a lot of the advertisement is mainly showing her as female but in the game you can make her as male you can make her whatever you want basically any skin tone i think anything you can add a different costume elements all kind of stuff fully customizable so i'm very excited to do that and play the game when it comes out so we'll talk a little bit about the hunter but also about Lilith here, and it starts way back in 1692, um, that during the Salem Witch Trials, and that's where the game, I guess, is going to begin, where Lilith was planning an assault on planet Earth, just basically ready to take over, and she wanted to awaken her god, Cthon, who we recently talked about in the Carnage series that we discussed, where uh, Carnage was somehow kind of linked to the Darkhold book, and that's what Lilith needs here. She needs the Darkhold book to awaken Cthon, and I guess on the verge of her about to do that back in 1692, a warrior rose called the Hunter that took her down. And there's actually a piece of dialogue in the game, so I'll have the screenshots up on screen there, that actually tell you uh, in it, and in the screenshots you can see the caretaker here, who is Lilith's sister, she actually has a, a conversation with the hunter and tells the hunter that, uh, you know, the reason Scarlet Witch isn't the chosen one to fight Lilith is because Scarlet Witch doesn't really have full control over her powers in the way the hunter does. Um, so I guess the hunter has a little bit more self-control than, than you know, Wanda does. And so, uh, but they also mention in it that way back in, you know, 1692, Agatha, or I'm guessing Agatha Harkness, helped train the hunter so that's really cool for you wandavision fans it looks like the hunter had some special training from the caretaker here who's Lilith's sister and also agatha harkness uh, so that's pretty crazy and so because wanda didn't have agatha harkness as a co-teacher i guess that's how they explain why wanda is not the main character of this game uh, but basically what's happening in this is that hydra uh, dr faustus for hydra in particular is trying to awaken lilith so that then she can awaken Cthon. and so that's kind of his whole plan so hydra will be involved in this, which explains why the Avengers are also involved. The Hunter does come back. Apparently she did defeat Lilith back in 1692, but she just doesn't have any memories of it or how specifically she did it. But clearly it cost a great sacrifice because it also weakened her almost to death. And she's been in stasis ever since then, like under some kind of spell or protection or something. So now she's awakened, you know, by the heroes to battle against Lilith, who has risen uh, by Dr. Faustus. And that's the basic plot of this storyline. So all that is pretty cool. Again, like I said, we're going to get some mentions of Cthon in here. Maybe he'll even be the final boss. That would be really great. Uh, but basically the game begins with an attack on Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum. And then from there, all hell breaks loose, I guess. So you start off with characters like Doctor Strange, and then they realize, okay, we need the Midnight Suns. And in this universe, the Midnight Suns are kind of an organization that have been around every couple generations to help fight against supernatural threats. But right now, they're not really, you know, any members of it. There's the caretaker, who's Lilith's sister, like I said. Her name is Sarah. Um, and she has some kind of, you know, creatures and animals that are hanging around the Abbey, which is their location, which we'll do another episode on. Uh, but then she starts recruiting people like Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes and Magic, you know, and Nico and stuff like that. So as she's recruiting these newer, younger people to restart the Midnight Suns, that's when the call for the hunter comes up and they need to waken her so that she can help in this battle. And they say Lilith is like a, a Omega level threat, kind of like on the level of Thanos, Apocalypse, Ultron, or Doctor Doom. And like Lilith, the hunter is one of the last descendants of an ancient race called the Blood, which were powerful beings who can trace their lineage back to the Elder Gods. So that's why the hunter's genealogy grants her special powers, or him, you know, depending on how you construct them. Um, but it grants them special powers, mainly the ability to channel ancient arcane energies and these energies focus around both light and dark magic and so i guess there's an upgrade system where you can upgrade one or the other or both of them but uh, if you want to upgrade the light or the dark to their fullest capacity and awaken the fullest powers 
you're going to have to focus on that one power throughout the whole game. And that doesn't turn you into a villain or a hero or anything like that. If you do the light side and use light power, you become a little bit more optimistic and you're more of like an Avengers type mentality, I guess. And if you do more of the dark magic, you're more of like an anti-hero like the Midnight Suns are. And the last thing they go on to say is that the Hunter and Lilith are blood related because they're also connected to the blood, you know, the ancient race and stuff. Um, and so are some of the other characters in the game as we're going to find out, I think with Blade being one of them. Uh, but we have Lilith who has her own children called the Lilin. And those are not blood children. Those are just demons that she accumulated while down in hell, I guess. Um, but what her actual blood child is the hunter. So because she's a biological mother to the hunter, that is going to add some elements to the storytelling in the game. And it makes Lilith a, a different villain than the other heroes have normally fought because they fought their Thanoses and Apocalypses and Galactuses. But this is like a, a real mother to someone. And, uh, and so there's a lot of other elements that are going to be at play there with that and also with her personality she's a true parent to the hunter so yeah even though the hunter kind of looks at lilith and is like yeah you're evil i'm here to kill you lilith is a little bit more like yeah but i love you and you're my child uh which i kind of like that's kind of neat that's something that was in the first blade movie i think too where blade meets his mother and she reveals that you know she's his mother and that she joined the vampires and she wants him to join and he ultimately chooses to take her down so i i like that that's very cool to me and it's very in keeping with stories like the Midnight Suns and in, in the comic book universe too a little bit. So the Hunter's connection to Lilith puts them at odds with the other heroes and the Midnight Suns want to stop Lilith as do the Avengers and there are at least 12 playable characters at launch and there might be more later on with DLCs and stuff like that. So this is all the lore stuff I want to talk about for this one. I just want to focus mainly on Lilith and our character the Hunter and a little bit of their backstory and a little bit where they're going to be in this game. So if you have any thoughts of that or any questions, anything, like please let me know down below. And I'll put a link down below to the Game Informer website because they have like a sub website for all the news for this game. I guess they're going to be doing a lot of coverage of it. So I'll put a link to that down below and I'll put a link to any trailers and stuff like that that I used. I'll put that down below as well so you can check those out and learn more for yourself. And then other stuff like combat and other characters and all that, we're going to break these down. We're going to break this whole like 20 page article down. And I'm going to make multiple videos over the next few days regarding that article. So again, link down below if you want to go check it out. And if you're subscribed to Game Informer, check it out yourself. If you're not, definitely go to GameStop or go online to GameStop, come a, become a pro member, and that'll make the magazine available to you. Or you can buy it for $4.99 on the Game Informer app if you just want to do that. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in hell. Peace.